Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Muhammad Asif and presenting the second video lecture series of Visuals Visual Programming. Before starting the new lecture, let's discuss what we have learned in our previous video lecture. In our previous lecture, um, in which we have uh, learned that which programming language will be studying in this video lecture series and that is cshop.net secondly the we have learned that which ide should be installed for the uh, c sharp language uh, in your pc and how so this is a quick recap of our previous lecture and i hope all of you have installed the visual studio student as you can see uh, there is a shortcut available at, uh, on my taskbar as I already created for myself. So when we click on the this shortcut which is available on my taskbar, the first interface of the Visual Studio will be appear and it will be look like this. First we need to learn uh, what is .NET Framework. As I already uh, told you student in this video lecture series we will be learning a programming language is called c -sharp .net. so what is .NET framework let's start learning .NET framework .NET framework is a platform which is used to develop software application and it is designed and developed by it is a product of Microsoft it is used to develop many application like web application window form application and window and phone application in which the Android and it also support programming in the window phone application it also it also provide number of uh, services like memory management networking security garbage collection and thread management etc .NET framework uh, almost support six about 60 uh, programming language which include c sharp sql javascript visual basics and python and so on there are uh, four main components of the .NET Framework which is um, CLR Common Language Runtime, FCL Framework Class Library and many uh, many core languages like a Window Form Application, ASP.NET which is used for the web application and ADO.NET which is used to connect with the database and other uh, modules like uh, WCF, uh, Window Communication Foundation Application uh, window presentation foundation application and window workflow foundation application and at the end a link language integrated tool which is very interesting topic inshallah at the end of this video lecture series we, we will also be learning the language integrated query which is link now let's come towards the, main, the one of the main components of the .NET framework which is a common language runtime uh, common language runtime mean that you uh, .NET framework support a number of languages so for all these languages there is a common language runtime mean it is a kind of a compiler which is used to compile a source code into the MSIL code what is MSIL it is an intermediate code MSIL mean MS mean uh, Microsoft IL mean uh, intermediate language so after the it after it converting the source code into the MSIL, then the MSIL code is converted into the machine language, mean native language by the just in time, uh, uh, just in time JIT. We can also call it as a jitters. So jitters are used to convert the MSIL code into the desired machine language according to the architecture and according to the specification of the system so just jitters are responsible just in time jitters we can call it jitters jitters are responsible for converting the intermediate code msil code or you can say the byte code into the uh, desired native language or you can call it a machine language now let's come towards the summarized form of the clr common language runtime as you can see the figure in, in, in this figure there is a source code the source code will be compiled into the MSIL code which is uh, Microsoft intermediate language but before after the 
but before uh, creating the executable file just in time jitters comes into the play and convert the msil code into the desired native code according to the specification and according to the architecture of the system so this is the whole summary and uh, that how the clr works so common lang uh, language runtime is a kind of a compiler for the darknet framework which is used to support a number of languages and it can provide a number of services like uh, window services like thread management memory management exception handling security as we already discussed in a previous slides so this is all about the clr now let's come to the second most um, common component of the dotnet framework is fcl fcl means framework class library fcl is a class of library is a group of library which is used to support which is used to allow the programmer to develop different application like console application window form application window services um, web application like asp uh, it also support uh, database applications like sql server access uh, microsoft access so it mean fcl is a is a group of library is a class of library which is used to support the programmer to, to provide different library this is all about uh, .NET framework so soon i hope you have learned about that what is .NET framework so after this now let's come towards the uh, visual studio uh, within the visual studio inshallah we will be uh, learning that what is this interface is the interface uh, you have to learn first that uh, how to open a new project or how to write a program within the c sharp so by clicking there is a shortcut is available uh, by clicking a new project or you can also go to the file within the file there is a new within the new you can also click on the project and there is also a shortcut which is called control shift and n using keyboard so after pressing or using this one clicking on the new project there is, uh, there will be a window will be appear like this new project within this you can see the selected uh, language is a visual c sharp so within this language uh, there is number of option available window form application wopf console application as we already discussed about all these applications so within the c sharp you can develop number of application so at the start we will be using the console application because we want to start at from the basics at first we, we want to learn the basics of the c sharp and inshallah after a few days we will be starting the window form application so at the start first select the console application next you have to change the name of your project yeah you can say it the name of your file so let's see this is the first app first application in console second one is the location where you want to store all these projects and you can also browse it if you want to change the location after selection of the file you have to store it then click on the ok button after pressing the ok the first c sharp structure or you can say the editor will be available so this is the first look of c sharp editor where we will be writing our code so let me first zoom in the editor now you can see this is the the structure of c sharp where you, will, where you will see first the header files then the namespace which is the keyword and after the namespace this is the name of the namespace which which means this is the name of your project folder within the namespace body we have a class body because object or uh, the c sharp is object oriented programming that's why it start with the name of the class with the keyword class so after the class keyword we have a name of the class by default it appears program and if you want to change the name of the program uh, you can uh, change it from program i let's change the name of the 
class so it is test now if you see within uh, the class body we have uh, another body which is called the main function body so this is the c sharp structure which is uh, which is uh, a different uh, look different if you remember uh, the c++ object oriented programming the structure of c++ was a little little bit different let me revise the revise uh, the c++ object oriented programming where you will see first we have a header file iostream.h after this we have a class body let's say name of the class should be abc then class body at the end of the class body there is a semicolon and af after the class body we have a separate main function which is outside of the main body uh, the class body this is the main function so if you remember the c++ structure of object oriented where first we have a header file then we have a class body at the end of the class body there is a semicolon and after this the main function is available outside of the class body and if you see within the c sharp structure of c++ first we have a header files then we have a namespace and after this class we have a class body within the class body we have a main function so this is the main difference between so far within the c++ and the c sharp okay guys i think it's enough for today's lecture but before ending our second video lecture let's uh, let's get a quick recap what we have learned uh, in this video lecture so a quick recap in this video lecture we have learned that uh, how to open a visual studio then we have learned about the dot net framework then we have learned the clr which is common language runtime then about the fcl then we also learned that how to open a new project within the visual studio at the end we have uh, seen that the structure of c sharp and we have also compare the structure of c sharp with the structure of c++ so i think this is enough for today's lecture uh, if uh, uh, student if you have any query uh, or question you may ask me on my official email address uh, which is asif@northern.edu.pk thank you allah peace